I don't even know how to really explain how this crisis is or this pain of equal cell is. I, I would just say that the pain is indescribable. Like, just this little way of describing it, the pain is much. The pain is much. It's, it's, it's much. I've been told uh, that I would, I might not even get to age 21. But I'm even more than and I'm still living. Like I've been told, even at clinics, yes. Uh, I, I met this lab scientist. I I went to run my genotype. I went to still do my genotype again so that I will be sure that yes, I, that this is it, this is it. Because at a point in my life I was telling myself I'm not I don't have to go self. So I wanted to be sure that yes. That is it. So I took myself, yes, I went to this clinic and I, I, I took a test. And then the lab scientist came out with the results only for me to tell me that he looked at me, looked at me, and he was like, wait, I have to run this test like twice to be sure that you have sickle cell. And I'm like, okay. He said, but wait. Did you know that you don't get to the age of 21? And I'm like, and I told him, he said, okay, I just want to advise you. Mm, he said, just, yeah, take a lot of water, yeah, eat um, a lot of vegetables, yes, don't marry. Yes, he said that, don't marry. So people feel like there is this certain age, this level that we are going to die and all of that. The, the society see it that way, but it's a lie. Um, my my uh, father's younger sister, she's she's old and she she still she she's still alive. She 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 has sickle cell, but she's still living. She has grown up kids and she's still living. So I I feel that's not uh, the truth that um, we have a certain level or we have a certain age. That when we get to we, we just die well the first time i can remember is when i was three years old and even at that age i was not i i didn't even really know what that is i just found myself like falling ill falling ill and i was taken to the hospital i know that yes i used to see my elder sister fall ill and my mom would be in the hospital in and out with her but I never thought of anything like sickle cell anemia. So at, at age three, I found myself just falling in. So let me say yes, at age it's three. But when it gets to five years old, I started having more of the pains and the crisis. And then in my family, we have like three, three warriors, even though I really don't know of the firstborn, but uh, just for the two of them, but uh, they are no more. So I think I'm just the only person um, still living with sickle cell in the family. I'm the last one in my family, the eighth. Um, so my sister, yes, yeah. my sister, she, we were more closer. We are relating, but yes, the crisis she has sometimes is quite different from mine. Sometimes she complains. You will see her with swollen legs, swollen legs. But I don't have that when I I was growing up and I was having crisis. You know, she she had she always had the swollen legs and but me my own I sometimes don't have swollen legs and she she if she's having crisis she. She uses um, either a hair tie or something. She ties the hand and she ties the leg. And she says sometimes she feels relieved while doing that. 
And sometimes when she's crying, she holds my mom and she's telling her, please hold here, hold here, hold the hands. And and sometimes that's when she will be breathing and she will be able to sleep a little. But <laughs> mine, if I'm having crisis, you dare not hold my hand or the affected place. I don't have swollen areas. I don't have those ones, swollen hands and the rest. But, and I don't even encourage tying of hair ties at those places that I will feel really so those were something that were different I, I I remembered when my sister was having this crisis and it was too much for her and she was because we were really close and she was holding tight to me and she was saying really she's tired really she's tired so uh, I looked I looked at her and I was like no just hold on just hold on to christ and stuff like that and she said i just don't understand probably at that age i really don't understand and i think that's the last day i i saw her they took her to the hospital and they never returned she never returned with my parents so when my sister died i had this fear that ah my sister died Okay, my brother died, so I need to, I might die, oh, and stuff like that. Each time I have crisis, I think about, I think about, I fear, I fear death, I fear all of that. But I, I got to a point that I had to look at it. It was like, it was just my mindset, and I had to position my mindset the way I see it, my perspective and all of that towards them, I am different. I had to tell myself, look, Jirit, you are different. And you are different from your sister, you are different from your brother, you are different. And the fact that, okay, your sister died this way, doesn't mean you died that way. So I encouraged myself and then I continued to move. And I don't think that I still do have that kind of thought that, I would die because I have sickle cell. I might die like my that was that was then so not anymore.